Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, I'm getting ready to head out to Lake Chesden, local lake for me. Uh, well, sort of local, about a little under an hour away. Um, it's been close to a month, I think, um, if not over a month or right out a month since I've been out. So my boat's been sitting up, sitting out covered up for a little while and has revealed some issues that I need to deal with. This is a cover designed for the boat length that I have, but for a much wider boat and been raining a lot lately so I need to figure out a way to get these PVC supports up higher probably to be able to strap this thing down tighter and avoid that nonsense but time to get it un uncovered and ready to go all right I'll load it up heading out swung by the store to grab some bladed jigs because I'm out of a lot of the dark colors that I use most frequently down here where we're dealing with stained to muddy water most of the time I go out. And they also seem to be the lure that I get hung up and end up losing the most. So I restocked on those. So I'm by the gas station to grab some water and I'm on the way down to the lake. See you guys on the water. I hadn't even got my camera set up. It's just taking a couple casts and just grabbed this little guy on a spinnerbait. Second cast. Back in this little cove. Way to start. Good way to start the day. All right, welcome back to another episode of me leaving part of my GoPro stuff in my truck. So no GoPro footage today. Gonna be stuck with the camera back on the tripod. So got fully charged batteries and plenty of memory cards for that. So hopefully we're good to go. Um, just pulled back in this small cove right off the main lake and just pulled in, the wind was blowing so hard, I just picked my uh, pole up and started making a couple casts of the spinner bait and got one on the second cast. So I have dropped anchor here so I can take a second and get situated and rigged up and everything because I didn't really do that yet. Um, but yeah, second cast and we pulled one in already. So hopefully, fingers crossed, that's a sign of things to come. Usually when I say that, I, you know, this is, this would be like the third or fourth time this year that I pull up off a point and on my first or second cast, get a fish and then don't catch anything else the whole rest of the trip. So I don't want to jinx myself by saying anything like that. So. However, it is, let me get a time check going here. Pull my phone out. Ugh. Time check is 5.30. And I just caught that one a few minutes ago. So hopefully, hopefully we are able to pull a few more in over the course of the evening. I'm not really, I don't have any plans of staying out like all night or anything. I didn't I actually came out here with the plan of fishing all evening and didn't even bring a light. I've got a light on my phone, of course, but I just totally forgot to bring anything. So hopefully we don't end up uh, getting stuck out here after dark. I do have working, I do have working lights if we, need them uh, yeah let's uh let's catch some more fish
Check is 8:30. Uh, it's been three hours since I caught that first fish. I've been back in this little cut um, right back here. The first fish I caught was right over there, off of that point right there, and that's that's all the water I've covered. Um, I'm gonna work my way back out around this point here to my right for a little bit, and then probably start heading back to the ramp if I don't get get any action in the next little bit or so. Sunsets, I think technically sunset is actually right this very second. So light is gonna be going quickly, but hey, it's nice weather out at least. So if I, that's the only fish I caught, oh well. At least caught one, didn't get skunked. Fish or no fish, it doesn't get a whole lot better than that. Most all the boats are in. Just beautiful, calm and quiet, me and the crickets and the frogs. Took it for a second. Out on this pennant point. Go right back. Catching a fish on this point. Stuff is big stuff is popping right here in all this mess. But I'm gonna go in with the bandito bug. They're getting active. Figures right when I'm about six minutes from running out of memory on my memory card. Pulling something off this point. Yeah. Hey, are you home? <laughs> no, I'm still fishing. You're still fishing? Okay. Love you. Yeah, I caught one on my second cast. What size? Eh, a pound and a half, probably. Second. They're hitting surface stuff all up in these weeds. You never know. Yes! Boom! Oh boy. That is good fish. 
<laughs> Look at that! On a freaking frog. Yes! Finally! Two pounds, twelve ounces. That's official. Boom. Beautiful fish. Am I even still rolling? Beautiful fish. Just absolutely beautiful fish. All right, so it is the next day. Uh, when I got off the water last night, it was so dark, uh, you wouldn't be able to see anything anyway. And my camera was out of, completely out of memory. And so I didn't take the time to do any kind of an ending for the video. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. We'll wrap up with uh, another mystery tackle box unboxing. I got this box in earlier this week, I think. Um, so yeah, we'll go through it real quick. So they got a new design on the top of the box for this one. Go ahead and open it up here. I can get it open. So again, it always comes with Carl's Dibble, a little uh, just paperwork and stuff. Tells has some just funny stuff, tips and tricks, that kind of stuff in the, in there. And let's see what do we got? Always comes with a sticker, funny little sticker. They have some pretty creative ones. And then it has the list of what's in the box and the MSRP, basically of everything. We got a swim bait, and I actually looked at this the other day. It's actually got a cavity that goes all the way down through the front of it, and then you tie, it comes out near the back, and you actually tie the line to the treble hook. And it's kind of interesting, interesting looking design. It should be kind of like a combination between a, a, uh, like a hard body swim bait with the treble hook, but it's a soft body, so that's kind of interesting. And then we got a chartreuse and black square bill, which is nice because I don't actually have something in this color pattern so that'll be handy I don't throw square bills a lot just because I haven't gotten a lot of practice and there's a lot of a lot of weeds and stuff where I fish so it's not a not a bait that I use frequently but it's nice to have and we got a suspending jerk bait looks like those are always nice and we've got some weights that would pair up with actually wouldn't pair with anything these are, these would primarily be a drop shot rig, it looks like, probably. So I don't know, I mean, I end up using these again. I think I've talked about that in previous videos. We're pretty, pretty muddy water around here, so don't have a lot of clear water techniques to do, but. And another uh, flip -a jig in uh, blue and black, which is something I can definitely use. So yeah, that's cool. And this is what I caught that, that big one on last night, uh, just a black hollow body frog um it actually when i caught him the hook with the frog it actually popped through the uh through the eye of the the hook here and it slid way up um which that might happen normally when you catch something on a frog i don't really know because i've never caught it before but yeah picked that up the other day after my last trip down there to that lake that had a lot of a lot of weeds and lily pads and something so i'm really excited to get back down there sometime next weekend and throw that throw that guy some more and that's going to wrap up uh, this video. Thanks everybody for watching. Um, I'm always, I'm always happy to be able to actually. I mean, it's fun to catch something, but I'm glad that I'm able to catch more than one fish when I go out. So you guys have something interesting to watch other than me just talking and fishing and not catching anything. So thanks for watching as always. Uh, like, subscribe, share, tell your friends, whatever. Drop me a comment if you want to. Love hearing from you guys, and I'll see you guys next time.